Hi everyone, we're here uh, at the rocky shore today um, doing some tide pooling. We're looking at animals that uh, we're going to start to find um, in the springtime. We've had a pretty uh, hard winter, so a lot of the animals move to deeper water. They're hiding under really big rocks, so we should be able to see some small crabs. We'll look for sea urchins. We uh, moved this rock and we found actually a lot of uh, animals under here. We found some sea urchins uh, right here. So there's actually two. This one's very buried um, in the sand. This one's a little bit more out. And then I have this one that was uh, right underneath the rock. So we have the urchins. We also have a couple different types of crabs. This is a type of, this is a rock crab. So this crab, um, these ones get it much larger than uh, the green crabs and the Asian short crabs that we find a lot here. Uh, this is just a small, this is just a baby. So we found the rock crab and also we did find a green crab, a very small one. And the cool thing that we found is a rock gunnel. So a rock gunnel is actually, it's a, it's a type of fish, but it looks a lot like an eel. Um, it has a long eel-like body but it's not related to, to eels at all. It's more, uh, more so uh, a fish. And the, the interesting thing is that a rock gunnel can actually be out of water for uh, long periods of time, um, almost through a tide cycle. So it could be out of the water for several hours, um, at least a couple hours. So if the rock gunnel is, is under a rock and the rock is moist under there, as long as it keeps its gills um, kind of moist and wet, it can still breathe out of water, which is pretty interesting. Um, this guy was under the rock there. Uh, the rock gunnels get much larger than this, probably about double this size, but this is just a small one. So we'll put this guy back in. And they like to go under rocks, under seaweed. So there he goes, he just disappeared pretty quickly.